Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 20 player review video. Today we are going to be looking at 92 English striker Gary Lineker. Now Lineker is available through Icon Swaps 2 for free of course. All it will cost you is gameplay and well the tokens. He has 14 tokens so he actually isn't that bad. Now looking at the card, it doesn't look terrible either. You know, 88 pace, very good. 91 shooting, 86 dribbling. High low work rates, which is fantastic for a striker. Four star weak foot and a three star skill moves, which I know turns off a lot of people. So we will keep an eye on that. I know you can still do Ronaldo flicks and heel to heel flicks as well with three star skills. So that is the good thing I think you can still do with that. Now looking at the in games, they're actually very nice. 90 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, which is already very good. 94 positioning, 95 finishing is incredible. It's not even boosted yet. 91 volleys as well, very good. His dribbling stats, agility and balance, a bit low for a striker. Not as good as I would like it to be. 92 reactions, 89 ball control, 85 dribbling, 86 composure as well. The physical stats also aren't very good. 78 jumping, 79 strength. 58 aggression is a huge letdown of course aggression is super important this year so he will be bodied off very easily that is a huge problem and his passing stats are actually very good for a striker 83 short passing 70 long passing it isn't bad i have seen worse i went with the engine cam style however just to increase the pace and the dribbling stats i really wanted to increase the dribbling stats of course you have other options here are the hawk options as well very good card increases the physical as well you know the pace and the shooting very good and 99 finishing of course 98 shot power which is fantastic the pace is boosted more as well and like i said the physicals but it don't, doesn't really make a difference in my opinion with the hawk i think i would rather prefer a hunter on this the hunter just maxes out the uh, pace excuse me and the shooting will pretty much maxes out pace that's almost maxed out and the shooting it's the same thing as the hawk you're just giving up physicals for the extra pace and if people really want to go crazy and boost the dribbling, our, uh, the sniper is the best one, of course. It's a waste on the position and finishing, to be honest. But it does increase the dribbling stats very nicely. 93 agility, 84 balance, which is very good. 97 reactions, 94 ball control, 95 dribbling, and plus on the composure, which is always a plus. Now, as we get into the highlights, you guys do need to keep in mind a couple of things. One, uh, a lot of the shots you see him miss, a lot of them are error by me. I just powered it too much or I aimed it wrong. Also, the finishing in this game is very inconsistent at the moment. So do please keep that in mind. Let's jump into the highlights. Let's jump into this card. First bad thing about him, well, like I said, aggression. Aggression is terrible only 58 aggression is horrific he gets bodied out so easily and it's super frustrating because he just goes flying now balance you know i gave him an engine and he went up to 89 balance and i thought he would feel great but there were multiple times where he still felt really heavy i don't know if this was just a mistake or it's just something in the game but it, it was very frustrating that is for sure Long shots, he has 86 long shots, which I thought was good enough, but after playing it in game, it didn't feel too good. It honestly felt really bad. So I don't recommend taking long shots with him. Of course, every once in a while, I do take one, but I don't really recommend it too much because he's more of an inside the box finisher for me. And the three star skill moves. I tried so many times to do spin moves with him and they just weren't coming out. And that's because I kept forgetting he only has three star skills. It's it's a problem. I've, I got used to four star skillers and doing the skills with four stars. And it's kind of annoying because it really helps a lot to break away from those defenders, especially the strikers. So do keep in mind that the three star skills is a huge letdown for him. Enough with the bad. Let's get into the good stuff. The pace. This guy is rapid. He gets away so easily from the Defenders, it's incredible. Of course, with the engine, he does have 95 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Of course, if you put the hunter or the hog, it'll be even faster, more complete. So it'll probably probably be more deadly. Now his inside the box finishing. This guy is an inside the box finisher. I know I said a lot of the shots I missed were error and they were it's just the inconsistencies in the finishing as well. But the goals he made for me proved to me that he is an inside the box finisher because not a lot of players can do the goals that he scored from the those tight angles and he did them so he is for sure a deadly inside the box finisher my recommendations is to play him alongside another striker who can finish from both inside and outside the box because i think it'll really bring out the good stuff in this card now his dribbling his dribbling is fantastic uh, i didn't have any problems at all with his dribbling the ball st just stayed stuck to his feet a lot and it surprised me a lot i know the engine increases it a lot but i didn't really think it was going to be 
as good as it was you know if only he had the three star skills it, it would be just completely incredible but he doesn't but with what you have it still works very well my recommendation is do little dribbles with him around the fenders don't really try to sprint all the time around it but the little dribbles really help because the dribbling is very well so it should help you a lot the work rates high low work rates are fantastic for a striker it's my favorite in the game of course i think it is for a lot of people it's very good i never have to worry about him going back on defense i know he will always stay up always be in position and he will because he has very good attacking position of course at what is it 94 95 attack position on this card so that you know uh with the with the high low work rates is just a recipe for disaster this card will always be up top and he was this card was always up top he was always making runs and i it's i love it it's great the price he is one of the cheapest prime icons you can get in the market for around 800k it is an absolute steal for the card you're getting of course it's not a perfect card and you know i think the the skills keeps the price down as well but it's super cheap and of course for 14 tokens uh this foot swap not foot swap icon swap you can get them for free as well you know you can use this card and get another card you don't have to use all your tokens for this card you can get him and another one so i think that's fantastic you know that's the good thing about the price being down if you have 800k to spare or just if your club is worth 800k you know you want to try this card before you put your tokens in him i recommend you do that because like i said him being cheap makes it very easy to try and it'll might convince you to get him for icon swaps or it might not so it's always a good thing that you can try him out that is for sure one thing i will mention about him is finesse shots finesse shots i didn't want to put it in the cons but i didn't want to put it in the pros either it's somewhere in the middle for some reason sometimes finesse shots worked with him very well other times they didn't and I think that falls back to the game and its finishing just being super inconsistent and horrible. So I didn't want to put that as a con because I didn't think it was bad, but I didn't want to put it as a good because I don't think it's great either. It was just back and forth with finesse shots, so I didn't know what to think about it. Overall, five goals out of four games with this card is good enough for me. You know, he was finishing, so that's a good thing. It's four games. One of the games disconnected. That's why it says five there for him. You know, overall, not a bad card. The three-star skills do let him down quite a bit, in my opinion. And then the inconsistency with the finesse shots. I still don't know what to think about it. I don't really want to blame him because, like I said, the finishing in this game at the moment isn't at its best. So I'm not really going to blame him completely for it. 7 out of 10 rating for Mr. Lineker. The only reason he is not for chance quality for me is because of the skills and the inconsistency in the finesse shots. That is the only reason why. Other than that... If I would have gotten consistent finesse shots more, he would have been foot champs quality. That is for sure. Best game styles, obviously, it's up to you guys. But for me, engine or hunter is the way to go. Guys, thank you so much for watching this play review over Gary Lineker. If this, oh, there goes my phone. If this thing, if this thing, if this review helped you a lot, please let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.